Hello and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. We are so delighted that you have joined us today. If you watched Micro Moment Monday this week, you know where we were over the weekend. We were up at my sister Cindy's house where the four sisters got together and uh, sort of planned out the project that we are putting together for a new book with 40 plus recipes in it. While we were there, of course, all four of us are really good cooks, I say, you know, modestly. But Cindy served us um, some zucchini soup, she called it zucchini, really a summer squash, from the harvesting that she was doing from her own garden. And it was fantastic, and we couldn't get enough of it. We nearly ate her out of house and home with that zucchini soup. And so today I thought that I would share with you this recipe and I'm doing it for a special reason. Um, the question that she asked was, Pam, I have an old USDA book that says that we can pressure can zucchini. And I said, oh goodness sake, I better check that. So we went online and did some research and they have, the USDA has withdrawn their recommendation on um, processing zucchini or summer squash using pressure canning. Uh, the data that they had once collected was inconclusive, incomplete. They tried to replicate what was done and they got inconclusive results. What happens according to Clemson University, Clemson is also an extension and so they do some testing and um, I, everything that is on their site is, I trust completely. But um, what they said was that what happens the reason that the approval was withdrawn was because when summer squash, being a soft squash, cooks inside the jar, it um, kind of disintegrates and pulls together in, in um, kind of a lump to where they cannot guarantee heat transfer gets clear into the middle. And so, in respect of that withdrawal, I wanted to talk about some of the things that we can do with zucchini because if you're like many people out there with gardens, it is zucchini times and zucchini is coming out our ears, we can hardly give it away. So we can pretty much do a couple of things. We can either freeze it or we can dry it. And by drying I mean either with a dehydrator or a freeze dryer. Today, I am simply going to cook it. I have a pot here that has a mixture of yellow squash and zucchini, and that's what um, Cindy did. She used both kinds in her soup. So it is about half and half. I'm gonna put this on to boil and get it completely done. And then we will follow her recipe. At this point in time, you could blanch it and freeze it, or you could blanch it and freeze dry it or blanch it and put it in your dehydrator. And then once it is dried, you can either powder it or you can rehydrate it and make it into this soup that we are doing. But this soup is the main thing I want you to see how wonderful this soup is. So I'm just gonna add some water and we'll put this on the stove and boil it until it is completely done and then we will be back to make our soup. We are back and the squash is completely done. I'm going to put about a quart of the squash along with some of its juice right in the blender and we're going to blend it like crazy. And I'm going to put the rest in this jar. Now I'm not going to can this. This is going to go in the refrigerator. It's likely that it is going to seal simply because it's very hot right now and as it constricts, as it cools, it's gonna pull that lid down. Don't care anything about headspace. Actually, I'm going to empty some of this juice into here. And some, oh, that one has juice. All right, everything else in here. The 
The reason that I don't want to do a double batch of soup is I'm going to be putting cream in, in it and um, it'll take us a little while. I want to make up another batch fresh. So once this cools, it goes in the refrigerator. Okay, now this, on the other hand, is going right here. And looks like we have about four and a half or five cups. And I'm going to just blend this until it's completely pureed. Okay, next we are going to start this butane stove. Get the hot pads out of the way. So Jim just climbed up on his ladder so he can get the bird's eye view of us cooking this. And so I'm going to turn on the flame. I'm going to put, this is my jam pan, my all time favorite kitchen pan. I'm going to put two tablespoons of ghee in the pan. And when that is melted, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. We're going to make a little roux so that we can thicken this soup just a little bit. Okay, so the ghee is melted. Here are the two tablespoons of flour, and we'll just stir this up as well. Make it all bubbly. This is the easiest thing. And next I'm going to put in the zucchini. And we'll see how thick it is because that is going to dictate how much water we need to add. Okay. Just calm that down a little bit. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of chicken broth and or that would be one bouillon cube. I'm out of the smaller bouillon cubes. And I have some Lowry's seasoned pepper. I'm going to put in about a fourth of a teaspoon and some Lowry seasoned salt, about a teaspoon. And stir that in. This would be a really good food storage soup as well because you could either dehydrate or freeze dry the zucchini and powder it and then just reconstitute the powder. And then, last of all, we are going to put in a half a cup of cream. Now, what if we're in a grid down situation with no grocery stores, and therefore we can't go to the store and buy this cream? We can certainly use, I'm putting in a half a cup, we can certainly use powdered milk. I substitute powdered milk all the time for cream. Look how beautiful that is.
So I'm going to get just a little bit in this tiny jar. And I'm going to taste it. See if it tastes anything like Cindy's. Yes, it does. Cindy, here's to you. Oh, that just is the best soup. So this is now done. And that's all there is to it. Turning off the heat. And we will have a lovely soup. I will take some of this to work for lunch tomorrow. I just inhale it. It is so good. And then we have another quart of the uh, finished squash in the refrigerator that in a few days I can finish up using this carton of cream and make another batch when we're ready for it. And that's all there is to it. So this is a great way to use our summer squash, both yellow and green, zucchini and the yellow crookneck squash. And um, it gives us quite a few options. And there are plenty of other options too, uh, grating it and making it into cake and um, muffins and all kinds of things. But I love this idea. I've not made um, zucchini soup very often in my whole life. And uh, so this is, we do have in our dry mix recipe book, a recipe for zucchini cheddar soup, which is based on powdering the zucchini. But this fresh is really, really good. So thank you for being with us. I hope you've enjoyed this and that it will help you use up your wonderful zucchini that you're harvesting from your garden right now. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you at our next video.